you've got a smart dog on your hands and you're ready to take your tricks to the next level. Maybe you're working on an AKC trick dog title or you just love training with your dog. I'm Chelsea with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior and today we're going to work on teaching our dogs how to do a handstand. If your dog doesn't already know the foundations of backing up onto a target, then check out this link over here. You'll need to head over there and get started with some of that foundation work. Teaching your dog to back up on cue actually has some real life applications to it. We can work on teaching our dogs how to improve their body awareness. And if we do that, it's not only part of a great fitness program, but it can actually reduce the likelihood of injury. As our dogs are running around playing fetch or doing some dog powered sports, it's important that they actually know where that rear end is. We've all seen that gangly teenager running around the yard and it looks like their butt is just attached and along for the ride. That dog does not have good body awareness and knowing where that rear end is can actually help keep them safe and healthy. Backing up can also be put on a verbal cue and it can be used around the house. If your dog's a little bit too close to your kitchen or your door as you're walking in bringing groceries into the house, having that behavior on a verbal cue is really helpful for us. So the foundations for this trick aren't just cute, we can actually use them in real life. Now that we've got our dogs backing up on a verbal cue, we're actually going to use that same platform to teach our dogs how to back up into a handstand. We can use that target forever, or we can work on fading that target and have our dogs back up onto a wall. So let's grab our targets, let's grab some treats, and let's get started. After you get your target selected, be sure to set it up in a space where your dog has plenty of room to move around and we'll have enough traction on the ground so that they don't slip and slide. After setup, you'll wanna do a few repetitions to warm your dog up on the concept of backing up onto the target. Stand a few feet in front of your target and give your cue back. Allow your dog to move backwards and when their rear feet touch the target, click and deliver the treat in place. Follow that with a verbal release of free and allow the dog to move forward towards you, clicking and treating that behavior as well. When the movement forward and backwards gets easy and fluid with your dog, then you know that you're ready to start slanting. After a quick warm up with the platform flat, as long as your dog is confidently moving backwards with you standing, you're ready to start slanting the board. Remember that you want this process to be very gradual. You might start by slanting it against a wall with some pillows underneath to support the backside. Your goal is to stand still, cue back, click when your dog's rear feet touch the target, and feet in place. Immediately follow it up with free to allow the dog to move forward. After three to four successful and confident repetitions, you can increase the slant of the board just a little. Remember that the goal is to change the slant so slightly that the dog does not notice that something has changed. As your dog starts to do well with this exercise, we're looking for the dog's confidence. We want them to be able to move backwards easily without any additional body pressure from us. If at any point you notice that your dog is having trouble moving backwards, or maybe they've slipped and startled themselves, decrease the difficulty of the slant so that they have some more success for a few repetitions. As they do well three to four repetitions in a row, you can slightly increase the slant of your platform against the wall as we move towards getting it into a more vertical position and eventually fading the platform altogether if you choose to do that. This is both a physical and mental workout for your dog, so be sure to keep sessions really short. You'll wanna keep an eye on confidence and comfort as well. If you notice them slipping, don't wait for something bad to happen, change your setup right away. You might also notice signs of stress, like he was moving well in the beginning and now they're not wanting to back up. You might find that they're offering other behaviors in front of you, like sit or down, instead of backing up. You might even notice some vocalizations. If you notice any of these stress signals, it's a signal to you that you need to make it easier. Take a break and make it easier for your dog to be successful the next time by decreasing the amount of slant. It's up to you whether you want to keep the platform in the picture for the whole thing, or if you want to fade the platform altogether and have the dog back up a wall. If you want to fade the platform completely, once the platform is completely vertical and your dog can back straight up the wall, then you will do the same exact thing 
just without the platform being present. Once you have the behavior that you like, either with the platform or without, you can add your cue. You're welcome to keep this behavior on the cue back as the dog backs up, or you can transfer a cue. If you want to put it on a new cue, stand stationary in front of your dog, give your new cue, handstand, wait till the dog backs up and targets, click and treat. It's really important to remember as you guys are working on this trick that we have really good traction. We don't want our dogs slipping and falling and I definitely don't want that target falling down. Not only could that freak the dog out and ruin this fun trick, but we could also cause injury. So make sure that the surface they're working on and the surface on that target, the dog has traction. The other thing to remember is that this trick is actually a lot of work for our dogs. So make sure that you are keeping session short three to five minutes in length, and if you notice them starting to fade a bit sooner, be sure to call it quits. I hope that this video helped you start working on a handstand. Let's get our dogs working. If you enjoy training your dog tricks, you might enjoy our trick training playlist. We've got a few of them compiled just for you so that you can start teaching your dog how to use that brain. And who knows, maybe you'll start working on a new trick title.